This will be a last follow-up for my grafting season of 2014. I grafted 124 conifers and I lost 13. That comes out to 89.5%. So I have just these here, five flats and an additional flat here of six. Some rooted cuttings. So overall I did pretty darn well I'd say. Some close-ups I guess. Silver Pearl, Abies Coriana. Has some nice new growth. It's a balsam fir. A dwarf balsam. You can see some new growth on this Abies con color. Most of the soft pines, the five needled pines are pushing. Some of them aren't. Uh, this one isn't yet. Some more con colors. There's a soft pine that's pushing. You see, a couple of them. So as you see, it's possible you can get some really good results if you take your time. And I will mention, um, on these cuts, on any of the conifer grafts, what I ended up doing is just cutting the back side that goes up against the seedling, and I did not cut the front side. All I did was make a cut that's that angled cut. So you have a cut on the back and then an angled cut coming up. And when I cut into the rootstock, I left uh, the flap and then I cut the flap with those orange pruners that I use. They're called a slimmer trimmer so that the flap would just go over that angled wedge cut. So the flap from the understock came up and then I cut it so it would just cover the wedge of, on the scion and then I wrapped it. This way you're only dealing with connection between the rootstock and scion on the back side and that little wedge up front. If I cut both sides of the scion, then you have more problematic uh, issues that could happen. Uh, you have more that needs to come together to unionize the graft. So it's less work. The results can be better, maybe significantly. This is the first time I've ever done that. I had a friend uh, show me from Europe how he does his grafting and that's where I decided to follow his lead and do that. So I hope you guys get a final idea of how much fun this is, how successful you can be. And I'll wrap it up there.